तो नाउ वी आर हैविंग पार्ट फिफ्थ पार्ट थर्ड ऑफ यूनिट फिफ्थ वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट बेसिक इल्यूमिनेशन मेथड एम्बियंट लाइट डिफ्यूजन रिफ्लेक्शन स्पेक्लर रिफ्लेक्शन फोन्ज मॉडल एंड कंबाइंड अप्रोच दिस वीडियो इज शूटेड एट श्री राम मूर्ति स्मारक कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग टेक्नोलॉजी एंड रिसर्च बरेली एंड द सब्जेक्ट नेम इज कंप्यूटर ग्राफिक्स सब्जेक्ट कोड इज आर सी एस सिक्स जीरो थ्री एंड आई एम सचिन कुमार सक्सेना असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर सी एस ई डिपार्टमेंट एस आर एम एस कॉलेज बरेली इट सेल्फ एलिमिनेशन मॉडल इंट्रोडक्शन वी विल स्टडी अबाउट द इंट्रोडक्शन पार्ट ए प्रोजेक्शन डिस्क्राइब्स ओनली वेयर एन ऑब्जेक्ट हैज टू बी ड्रॉन ऑन द प्रोजेक्शन प्लेन्स द डिटर्मिनेशन ऑफ विजिबल सर्फेस इज ऑल्सो फोकस्ड ओनली ऑन द क्वेश्चन विच ऑब्जेक्ट शुड बी ड्रॉन एंड विच वन आर हिडन फ्रॉम व्यू बाई अदर्स द इंफॉर्मेशन वेयर एन ऑब्जेक्ट should be drawn on the projection plane is not at all sufficient for a realistic representation of a 3d scene realistic displays of a scene are obtained by generating prescribed projections of objects and by applying natural lighting effects to the visible surfaces what are the illumination model what is the definition of illumination model it is also called a lighting model or shading model model for calculating light intensity at a single surface point it is used to calculate the intensity of light that we should see at a given point on the surface of an object what do we understand by surface rendering methods it is also called surface shading methods defined as a procedure for applying a lighting model to obtain pixel intensities for all the projected surface position in a scene the important components are ambient light light coming from the nearby objects after reflection diffuse illumination specular reflection etc what are the light sources what do we understand by light sources as we have studied there are three components ambient light light coming from the nearby objects after reflection diffusion illumination specular reflection and the light source so here we have definition of light source light source is defined as an object that is emitting radiant energy such as light bulb or the sun two types of light light sources are there first we have point light source and the distributed light source the light source which is coming from a single point for example a bulb and the projected on the surface or the object and the second is distributed light that is projected on the surface and the uh, enhance from the different different light source more than one point etc point light source we can have the simplest model for a light emitter is a point source rays from the source follow radially diverging path from the source position as shown in figure below diverging ray paths from the point source <coughs> This light source model is a reasonable approximation for sources who has, whose dimensions are small compared to the size of objects in the scene. Sources such as the sun that are sufficiently far from the scene can be can be accurately modeled as point sources. So in illumination and shading we try to develop models that are close approximation of real world objects models developed with the inclusion of illumination and shading concept should not be true virtual but it should be very close approximation of realistic scene distributed light source a nearby 
source which as long fluorescent light as shown in figure below is more accurately modeled as a distributed light source in this case the illumination effects cannot be approximated realistically with a point source because the area of the source is not a small compared to the surface in the scene an accurate model for the distributed source is one that considered the accumulated illumination effects of the point over the surface of the surface a real world image taken by digital camera will only capture a small subset of the light rays passing through a small area often an approximation view is generated using complex formulation and algorithm basic illumination models are illumination models are used to calculate light intensity that we should see at a given point on the surface of an object lighting calculations are based on optical properties of surface such as glossy matte opaque opaque and transparent this controls the amount of reflection and absorption absorption of incident light the background lighting conditions the lighting light source specifications all light sources are considered to be point source specified with a coordinate position and intensity value color there can be infinite number of lights rays coming from the nearby objects to illuminate the object in illumination model it is very hard to find out all the inter reflected lights basic illumination models are ambient light diffusion reflection specular reflection and fog model combined approach one model intensity attenuation color consideration transparency transparency and shadows a object is illuminated only not only be direct light source but also from the light which is inter reflected from nearby objects hence the image created after considering illumination model is only close approximation of original image in illumination model we try to capture a set of light rays which reflected of inter reflected from the various objects so that a close approximation of original scene can be created basic illumination model can be explained as an illumination model also called a lighting model and sometimes referred to as shading model is used to calculate the intensity of light that we should see at a given point on the surface of an object illumination models in computer graphics are often loosely derived from the physical laws that describe surface light intensities in the illumination model we are having several vectors like r l vector and v unit vector and the angle phi is the wing angle relative to the specular reflection direction r so view wing direction can be can be anywhere in 3d plane in the basic illumination model the model for calculating light intensity at a single surface point is called illumination model or a lighting model the surface rendering is a procedure for applying a lighting model to obtain pixel intensity for all the projected surface position in a scene so a surface that is not exposed to direct light may still be lit up by reflections from other nearby objects this is called ambient objects so a object is illuminated not only be direct light source but also from the light which is inter reflected from nearby objects there can be infinite number of lights rays coming from the nearby objects 
to illuminate the object. Light source as it is given in the figure, light viewed from an opaque non-luminous surface is in general a combination of reflected light from a light source and reflections of light reflections from other surfaces. When we view an opaque non-uniform object, we see reflected light from the surfaces of the subject object. A surface that is not directly exposed to a light source may still be visible if nearby objects are illuminated. So to make data maze base for these light rays is not possible. Hence the image created after considering illumination model is only close approximation of original image. In illumination model we try to capture a set of light rays which reflective or reflected of interreflected from the various objects so that a close approximation of original scene can be created. Diffusion reflection surface that are rough or grainy tend to scatter the reflected light in all directions. The scattered light is called diffusion reflection. So the amount of incident light reflected by a surface depends on the type of material. Shiny material reflect more of the incident light and dull surfaces absorb more of the incident light. For transparent surfaces some of the light is also transmitted th through the material. Surfaces that are rough, grainy tend to reflect light in all direction. Surfaces that reflect incident light with equal intensity in all direction. It is a case of perfect diffuse reflection. Such surfaces are referred to as ideal diffuse reflectors. Example snow movie screen. A specular reflection in addition to diffuse reflection light source created highlights or bright spot called specular reflection. This highlighting reflect uh, effect is uh, more pronounced on shiny surface than on dull surfaces. So a perfect mirror reflects only light only in the specular reflection direction. Other objects exhibit specular reflections over a finite range of viewing positions around vector R. To light source we are having we are having modeling specular reflection, we are having vector L, N to the normal vector, R to the reflector, V for the shiny surface and the dull surface. So we are having different kind of spe specular reflection. So In the specular reflection and diffuse reflection, we are having different uh, uh, surfaces. In the figure, in the we have divided two uh, two portion of the figure one. First is specular reflection. Second is diffuse reflection. In specular reflection, it may possible that some portion of surface generate generate more light or may produce bright spot. It is called specular reflection. Example of specular reflections are metal surfaces, mirror, shiny plastic, gold and silver coated surfaces, shiny apple surfaces and so on. The specular, diffuse and ambient these are three surfaces which can be defined in the <coughs> surfaces uh, in the different surfaces as compared to diffusion diffuse diff ambient surface elimination model because it is a surface rendering algorithm use the intensity calculations from an elimination model to determine the light intensity for all projected pixel positions for the various surfaces in a scene 
Surface rendering can be performed by applying the illumination model to every possible surface point. Light source are referred to as light emitting source. The reflection surface such as the walls of a room are termed light reflected surfaces. An illumination object in general can be both a light source and a light reflector. The simplest model for a light emitter is a point source. When light is incident on an opaque surface, part of it is reflected in and part is object. Ambient light. This is a simple way to model the combination of a light reflection from various surfaces to produce a uniform illumination called the ambient light or background light. In our basic illumination model, we can set a general level of brightness for a scene. This is a simple way to model the combination of light reflections from various surfaces to produce a uniform illumination called the ambient light or background light. Ambient light has no spatial or directional characteristics. The amount of ambient light incident on each object is a constant for all surface and over all directions. So therefore it is called ambient light as is it is depicted in the screen. Ambient light has no spatial or directional characteristics we have stated earlier also. The amount of ambient light incident on each direction is constant for all surfaces and over all directions. The intensity of the reflected light for each <coughs> surface depends on the optical properties of the surface that is how much of the incident energy is to be reflected and how much absorbed. We can set the level for the ambient light in a scene with parameter IA and each surface is then. So where we have studied in the diffuse reflection which is diffuse reflection are constant over each surface in a scene the fractional amount of the incident light that that is diffusively reflected can be set for each surface with parameter kd <coughs> diffuse reflections as we have already stated parameter kd is assigned to a constant value in the interval 0 to 1 according to the reflecting properties we want the surface to have the fractional amount of the incident light that is diffusively reflected can be set for each surface with parameter kd the diffuse reflection coefficient or diffuse reflectivity <coughs> the simulate to simulate a surface that absorbs most of the incident light we set the reflecting reflectivity to value near 0 if surface is exposed only to ambient light, we can express the intensity of the diffuse reflection at any point on the surface as I M P different is equal to K D into I A as it is represented by coefficient D. K. If a surface is exposed only <coughs> to ambient light, <coughs> we assume that the diffuse reflections from the surface are scattered with equal intensity in all directions dependent of the viewing directions such surfaces are sometimes referred to as ideal diffusion reflectors reflectors they are also called lambertian reflectors since radiated light energy from any point on the surface is governed by Lambert's Cosian law. In the above formula, we have seen a I ambient differential is equal to KD into IA, where KD is the diffuse reflection coefficients. So this is the uh, various formula, very important formula for uh, diffuse reflection. So if we donate the denote the angle of incident between the incoming light direction at the surface normal as theta 
that the projected area of a surface patch perpendicular to the light direction is proportional to cos theta. If I L is intensity to the point light source, then the diffusion then the projected area of A surface patch perpendicular to the light direction is proportional to cos theta. Here we have I1 differential <coughs> is equal to KD I1 cos theta and normal to the proponent. Thus the amount of illumination or the number of incident light rays cutting across the projected surface path depends on cos theta. If the incoming light from the source is perpendicular to the surface at a particular point that the point is fully illuminated. As the angle of illumination moves away from the surface normal, the brightness of point drops off. If n is the unit if n is the unit normal vector to surface and L is unit direction vector to the point light source from a position on the surface then cos theta is equal to n L and the diffuse reflection equation for single point source elimination is I1 comma D differential is equal to KD I1 NL to light source. So if the incoming light source from the source is perpendicular to the surface at a particular point that point is fully fully illuminated as the angle of illumination moves away from the surface normal the brightness of the point drops off this is the formula for i differences 1 kd i 1 we can combine the ambient and point source intensity calculations to obtain an expression for the total diffusion diffuse reflection. In addition, many graphics packages introduce an ambient reflection coefficient Ka to modify the ambient light intensity Ia. For each surface, I diffusion is equal to diffuse is equal to Ka into Ia plus KD into IL with multiplication N into L. A surface is eliminated by a point source only if the angle of incident is in the range theta in the range 0 degree to 90 degree cos 0 is the interval from 0 to 1. If n is the unit normal vector to a surface and l is the unit direction vector to the point light source from a position on the surface. So this is the example of KD where Ka is equal to 0, 0.0. So now we are having different values 1 diffuse reflection from a surface spherical surface elimination by a point light source for values of the diffuse reflectivity coefficient in the interval 0 to kd to 1. So we can combine the ambient and point source intensity calculations to obtain an expression for the total diffuse reflection. In addition, many graphic packages introduce an ambition reflection coefficient. So in the given in the before formula Ka and Kd depends on surface material properties and are assigned values in the range from 0 to 1. So from the figure we can easily find out what are the various. So here we have another example where reflection in Ka and Kd diffuse reflection from a spherical surface illumination with ambient light and a single point source for values of Ka and Kd D in the interval 0 to 1. So in this figure we use R to represent the unit vector in the direction of the ideal spectral reflection, L to represent the unit vector directed toward the point light source 
and v as the unit vector pointing to the viewer from the surface position angle theta is viewing angle relative to the specular reflection direction r for an ideal reflector incident light is reflected only in the specular reflection direction in this case we would only see reflected light when vector v d r coincident theta is equal to 0 so specular reflection and phones model says uh, when we look at an illumination illuminated shiny surface such as polished metal an apple or a person's forehead we see highlight or a or bright spot at certain wing directions this phenomena called specular reflection is the result of total or near total reflection of the incident light in a concentrate region around the specular reflection angle Fon model sets the intensity of a specular reflection proportional to cos theta angle theta can be assigned values in the range 0 to 90 so that cos theta varies from 0 to 1 a very shiny surface is modeled with large values for n say 100 or more and smaller values down to 1 are used for duller surface in the figure we use n unit normal surface vector r to represent unit vector in the direction of uh, uh, specular vector uh, ideal in the direction ideal super reflection vector represent or directed in the light towards as in a unit vector pointing to the viewer from the surface position we can approximately model monochromatic specular intensity variations using a specular reflection coefficient w theta for each surface since v and r are unit vectors in this viewing and specular reflection direction we can calculate the value of cos theta with vr so simplified Fons model is obtained by using the half wave vector h between l and v to calculate the range of specular reflections Fons specular reflection model says shiny surfaces have a narrow specular reflection range and dull surfaces have a wider reflection range an empirical model for calculating the specular reflection range developed by Fonge, Fonge, Bui, Tuang and called the Fonge specular reflection model if we place more than one point source in the scene we obtain the light reflection at any surface point by summing the contributions from the individual surface so this is all about the Fonge model Fonge model also says Fonge specular reflection model or simply the Fonge model sets the intensity of a specular reflection proportional to cos ns theta angle theta can be assigned values in the range 0 degree to 90 degree so that cos phi varies from 0 to 1 the values assigned to specular reflection parameter and s is determined by the type of surface that we want to display a very shiny surface is modeled with a large value for ns say 100 or more and a smaller values down to 1 are used for duller surfaces the intensity of a specular reflection depends on the material properties of the surface and the angle of incidence as well as other factors such as the polarization and color of incident light a specular reflection and phone model can be said as simplified phone mod model is obtained by using the half a vector h and l h between l and v to calculate the range of specular reflections a specular reflection and phone model can be said as the silver gold and dielectric glasses 
intensity values spectral reflection coefficient w theta for different materials can be uh, are rep uh, uh, represented on y axis and the theta at the z at the x axis since v and r are unit vectors in the wing and spectral reflection direction we can calculate the value of cos theta with v into r we can reasonably model the reflected light affected effects by replacing w theta with the constant specular reflection coefficient ks we then simply set ks equal to some value in range 0 to 1 for each surface vector r in this expression can be calculated in terms of vector l and s as seen in figure 1416 the projection of l onto the directions of the normal vector is obtained with the dot product n dot l therefore from the diagram we have r plus l is equal to 2 n into l into n as the specular refraction vector is obtained as r is equal to 2 n into l into n minus l a somewhat simplified Fons model is obtained by using the half vector h between l and vector calculating to calculate the range of a specular reflections if we replace v into r in the Fons model the dot product n h will be represented as combine diffuse and reflections with multiple light source for this for a single light source we can model the combined diffuse and specular reflections from a point on an illuminated surface so here we have combined diffuse and specular reflection with multiple light source a single point light source and multiple light sources so this is all about the Fons model and the illumination model for any query you can mail me at sachin.saxena at the rate srms.ac.n this is my official email id you can also visit sachinplacement.blogspot.com where you will find the handwritten notes on computer graphics of unit 1, 2, 3 etc. You will find previous year question papers, quiz, ebooks, uh, lab manuals etc. Et we will find the principle of programming language notes and uh, principle of programming language notes and uh, image processing notes you will find gate lectures you will find their uh, artificial intelligence notes you will find python code you will find advanced matlab you will find da data structure etc so this is all about the uh, Fonz model so in the next model we will study about the one model the one model provides a method for simulating studio lighting effects by controlling light intensity in different directions light source are modeled as point on a reflected surface using the Fonz model for the surfaces points then the intensity in direction in different directions is controlled by selecting clues for the Fonz exponent for the next video we will study Fonz uh, one model in the, uh, the last part of the unit fifth in addition light controls and spot lighting used by studio photographers can be simulated in the one model flaps are used to control the amount of light emit emitted by a source in various directions so so in the flap is uh, this is uh, the uh, basic introduction of one model or the last part of unit fifth so we will very uh, very soon we will visit the last part of the unit fifth as radiant energy from a point light source travels through space its amplitude is attenuated by a factor where d is the distance that the light has traveled this means that a surface close to the lights source receives a higher incident so intensity from the source meant a distance surface large d so all these are relevant to the next ppt which is a general inverse quadratic attenuation function 
can be set up in various ways. A user can then fiddle with the coefficients a0, a1, and a2, and so on. Thank you.